queen caterpillars, guys, that were on the milkweed that was delivered to me. I've got, looks like I've got little ones too. But we've got queens for sure. That is a pretty wild looking caterpillar right there, y'all. I'll leave these in here another day. I'm actually gonna put it inside my flight cage here so that monarchs and stuff can't get to it because I, I actually want the plant to grow. <laughs> Uh, and I don't want to spray it, so that's the that's the gig, guys. I'm gonna put it inside of here. I've got Palamedia swallowtails, females in here. Well, there's my Palamedes. Check out that video, guys. I'm getting eggs from Palamedia swallowtails, but we're gonna raise queens too, and plants. All right, so it's been a few days since my queens have pupated. But what I also discovered that are on my milkweed are some monarchs. All right, it's been a few days and our milkweed is getting tore up. And now I did not know that there were, there were this many monarch caterpillars in <laughs> on this plant. Uh, it must have been loaded with eggs. And so uh, they're tearing it up. I think this is the last one, I think think I think I think everybody else has gone off and pupated so we've got a pupa here and then I've looked around the plant I don't see any more pupa I looked around up in here on the ladder I have in here and I don't see any pupa but up here we've got we've got one there and we've got where did I see two more somewhere ah oh, yeah Two more pupa here. And so we've got monarch pupa, guys. So that's exciting. We're going to uh, raise some monarchs. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this plant sit in this cage and grow. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take you off. I'll raise you the rest of the time inside. You little stinker. Um, I'll raise you the rest of the time inside so you can give our plant here a time to recoup. I'm going to feed him some leaves. He'll appreciate uh, the food and I'll appreciate taking some pictures and videos of this cool monarch caterpillar. So um, that's the update on the monarchs and the milkweed that is just getting torn up. Uh, so pretty soon we'll have freshly emerged monarchs. Stay tuned. Setting up my monarch caterpillar in a cup with an, a big leaf of the uh, milkweed and that should be enough it should be plenty i would imagine that this guy only has a half a day or so of eating before he goes and goes pre-pupil and makes chrysalis so um that should be plenty of food for him and we're gonna let my milkweed plant recover now one of the things i wanted to do with this video guys is show you guys the difference between a monarch chrysalis and a queen chrysalis. Uh, this one is, I gotta be careful, this guy is really, really brand new. He's still drying, so I gotta make sure I'm really gentle with that one. But these guys are nice and dry. And it, but as you can see, the monarch chrysalis is a very, very pretty structure. Um, it's a beautiful little green, almost looks like a big jelly bean. <laughs> but this jelly bean, would taste bad. And uh, the Danaids, butterflies in the Danaidae family, their chrysalis have these really cool little blotches of what look like metallic gold, almost like if if a, if a jeweler was going to put little little melted flecks of metallic gold on on the structure. That's what it looks like. So it's really a pretty, pretty structure. And you can see the wing pad, by the way. You actually can see all the anatomy of the chrysalis here. This is the head capsule. And you can see the eye, little chamber right there. You can see the proboscis chamber, the leg. So the proboscis chamber are these two big long ones that go right down the center. That's where the, the proboscis forms inside of the chrysalis there. Next to it on either side, there are two leg chambers. 
and then there's another leg chamber that's hidden underneath of those. But this one outside here, you can see that's got little ribs on it and it goes all the way down to the abdominal segment on both sides. That is the antenna chamber. So the antenna attaches right behind the head. You can see that. Um, off to the side here, you can see the wing chamber. You can see the veins of the wing. You can see the edges of where the wing chamber are. That's the forewing, and it attaches right here, kind of like right by where that gold fleck is, like right, right there it attaches, and then that's where the wing pad or the wing chamber develops here. And then here we have the thoracic chamber on top, this big round one with these four gold flecks on the bottom side of it. And the abdominal chamber is pretty much the rest of it. Most of the chrysalis weight and size is wrapped up into the abdominal segment and, or the abdominal chamber because that's where all the fluids are. So when a caterpillar eats and eats and eats, it stores fat, stores food inside of uh, the chrysalis as it metabolizes that food and those, those carbohydrates and those, you know, that, that, that substance, it actually has to store it somewhere. And that's where the marconiums, if you've ever raised butterflies and the butterfly comes out and spreading its wings, and then it shoots out all this poop looking stuff out of its abdomen, all that well, it's, it actually kind of is poop. It's metabolized, uh, stored food reserves that are inside of this abdominal chamber. It has an additional chamber where it stores the merconium and it, and it spits it out uh, once it emerges. One of the first things it does gets rid of all that extra weight and all that waste. Uh, you can also see the sphericals in the abdomen. These little holes right here are actually the, the places where the uh, chrysalis breathes. Uh, air exchange happens there. And then of course, it's got this really cool band of gold, silver, and black all the way around. What a cool, cool chrysalis this is. You know, you gotta love the Monarch for that. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you the difference between the Queen and the Monarch. And so I've got a container here, and I've got in this container a couple Queen chrysalis. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the difference right now between the Queen and the Monarch. So let's let's look at the front side first. As you can see, they look pretty darn similar. The queens are typically a little bit smaller. It is a, a little bit of a smaller butterfly. Monarchs are a little larger, but there's not a whole lot of difference when you look at it on this side. They look pretty darn similar. They each have gold flecks here on the on the forewing. Okay, they've got gold flecks up by the front, up by the head capsule. But as you flip the chrysalis over and look at the thoracic region, now we've got a little bit of a difference. You can actually tell the difference between a monarch and a queen chrysalis simply because of the gold flecks on the thoracic region. The monarch has four real big ones. Let's see if I can get this guy flipped the right way. Okay, Monarch's got four big ones. The queen has two little ones. It does have two little gold flecks. And it looks like it has some way, one way off to the side here. But the Monarch has four very predominant, very large gold flecks here and one off to the side. So it's got six total gold flecks on the thoracic region the queen only has four. Now, another difference, the stripe, we see here in the monarch, we see gold, silver, and black on the monarch, stripe on the abdomen. On the queen, we see an additional color, don't we? We see gold, silver, black, and then some like blue undertone. So it's a really neat thing. And let's make sure I'm telling you the right thing here. See if this queen, this is another queen. Make sure it has the blue as well. Yes, it does. So it's got, the queen's got these blue undertones here. These guys are actually getting ready to emerge pretty soon. 
Um, but that's about it, guys. Hope you like this video. I've got now, I've got two queen pupa. We'll show you some stuff on the queen. I've got four monarch chrysalis as well. And we'll show you what happens when they emerge. So guys, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Hope you learned something about the chrysalis structure and the difference between a monarch and a queen chrysalis. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care, like, subscribe, and share. Till next time, let's get out and enjoy South Florida. Get you a butterfly garden going and get you some little golden uh, flecked jelly beans that turn into butterflies. Take care now. Thank you.